Welcome back to the Britannia Coin Company. We're a coin dealer based in Royal Witton Bassett in the UK. Inside this bag is another collection of coins which we have recently bought at our shop. Included in this collection is a very, very special 50p. In fact, the rarest 50p that's ever been minted. So, should we get into this collection? We're going to start off with some other bits though. We will get to that rarest 50p coin ever later in the video. As usual, these coins will filter onto our website and eBay shop over time. But in the meantime, if you spot something you quite like that you'd like to make a purchase of that's not already listed on one of our websites, then feel free to get into contact with us directly about it. So we start with this, Battle of Britain 50th Anniversary Commemorative Medallion. It's quite a cool design there, a couple of Spitfires with explosions to the bottom. And to the other side of the medal, we've got this really intricate, lovely design. It's a fantastic little piece, if the Battle of Britain is your kind of thing. We've then got a coin that we have seen before in a previous collection, but it had colour on it. So it's the Alderney Total Eclipse of the Sun 1999 £5 coin. It's a really lovely design on that. So this is a brilliant uncirculated version of it. As we said, minted for Alderney. Uh, we've got Raphael McClough's portrait of the Queen on the coin there. Very nice. We're off to the Isle of Man now with a World Cup one crown. So it's a Spanish World Cup. Um, I'm not sure what year that is. I'm not a massive football fan myself, but if we open it up, I'm sure we'll find out. So you can see on the obverse, 1982. I'm sure many of you were screaming out that that was the year that the World Cup was held in Spain, but uh, I had no idea. Uh, we've got a couple of other designs here, which are quite neat as well. The coins from the Isle of Man tend to be very pretty designs, but there's an awful lot of them that come out um, in modern times as well that always grab my eye. Next, we have one of my favorite crowns. This is the Coronation Crown from 2003. So we've got God Save the Queen and uh, text all the way around the outside of the coin as well. And then we've got a really cool portrait of the Queen. Obviously there are the five main portraits the Queen had on our coinage, um, but the odd occasion there were one-off portraits used for her on coins, which are very, very cool. And the last one in this handful is from the Solomon Islands, 1991, 50th anniversary of Pearl Harbor. It's interesting to see quite a historic American uh, theme with the Queen to the obverse of the coin. But there we go, there's the coin. Lovely design. Quite a cool little package as well for it. Next up, we've got a bit of a coin hunt on our hands. We've got a few bags of different denominations. It looks like this is all two pound coins, so we're gonna see what we've got inside here. So we've got the Great Fire of London here, a lovely design. Just check the edge inscription. Uh, whole city in dreadful flames, that's what it should be. It's only because in 2016, some of the coins seem to escape the mint with the wrong edge inscription. Speaking of which, we have the World War One Army Centenary here. So no rotation error on that one. And the rotation inscription should say for king and country, which it does on this one. So again, nothing too special there. We've got the tercentenary of the Bank of England, old single metal two pound coin. I can see a couple of old uh, two pound coins. This is the first uh, two pound coin. It's the Commonwealth Games, the Scotland Commonwealth Games, 1986. Very nice. This is the Rugby World Cup, a fairly common coin you'll see in your change quite often. And there's another common one, DNA Double Helix. It's an absolutely beautiful design on this coin though. We've got the United Nations anniversary. Again, an older single metal two pound coin. And then one of my favorites, it's the Peace Dove. Very lovely two pound coin, this one. Got a 1998 Technologies design. It's the definitive design, not a low minted year. And there's no rotation error on it, so this has probably been kept by the collector because it's in such nice quality, but a uh, cool coin. Uh, what have we got next? It's another Rugby World Cup. Again, lovely condition this coin. In this NatWest, I think it's NatWest um, little flip, we've got another Commonwealth Games £2 coin. One final Commonwealth Games £2 coin. And the last one, we've got a pound coin. This is one of the old round pound coins, the Shield of the Royal Arms. What year is that? 2014. There we go. Very cool little collection of £2 coins and a pound coin. Handful more. Brilliant uncirculated coins. This is the London 2012 Olympic Games five pound coin. There was a whole series of five pound coins and the build up of the running up to the um, London Olympic Games. It's called the Countdown Series. And this was released for the actual opening of the London 2012 Olympic Games. We've then got 2007 Diamond Wedding Anniversary Crown. Obviously the wedding anniversary of the Queen and Prince Philip as pictured there. 
And if we look, the obverse of the coin is lovely. We've got the uh, portrait with both of them on the coin, which is always kind of neat. And then if you look at this design, it's one of the windows at the uh, abbey that they were married at, which is replicated there on the coin, which I think is a really neat design. We've then got a very recent release. This was the memorial set of coins for the Queen. There was a crown coin, a 50p, and this a five pound coin. Designed by John Bergdahl with two new portraits of the Queen, a younger portrait and a more mature, experienced portrait of her on the coin there. But it's a lovely coin to have. Well, we're going to Alderney with this coin. It's the Concord anniversary in 2003. It's a five pound coin, it says. There we go. It's a very cool coin. And this sort of iconic image of the, of the uh, plane is absolutely wonderful to see. So there we go. Again, Raphael McClough's portrait of the Queen on this Alderney coin. Well, lovely, isn't it? Next up, we've got a big bag of 50p's we're gonna have a rummage through. So we've got lots of older, large, larger 50p's. Lots of these uh, European communities, 1973 commemoratives. We've got Britannia's. We're gonna flick through and hope that, oh there we go, D-Day anniversary. Lovely design on that one. What we really want to see on these larger, older 50Ps is the EU Presidency 50P, the, the lowest minted circulating 50P ever. And once we're done having a rummage through these 50Ps, we'll have a look at that really superstar coin that I've been teasing you about. Well, unfortunately, no EU presidency ones. Lots of these uh, EEC uh, hands commemorative ones. A few of the D-Day commemoratives. I think there's a couple more. I know these are just um, Britannia definitive designs. Oh no, that's a EEC one. And there's one uh, 50p the size that we used to see them in circulation nowadays. Obviously they were larger and thicker previously, but that's the NHS 50p, which is a cool coin to find. And then, as promised, the rarest 50p that's ever been minted, we have got the Olympic Aquatics 50p. Now some of you might think you've seen this coin plenty or you have it in your collection. The devil is in the detail on this one. You have to look at the face of the swimmer and you can see there are lines over it. Now this was the original design intended to go on the coin, but they decided that last minute it sort of obscured the face of the swimmer so they decided to take the lines off of the face but some had already been minted with this original design concept and sent out but very very few uh, we were lucky enough to get our hands on one in summer of 2022 and it sold very very quickly so this is live on our website um, but it probably will be snapped up very very quickly so if you want to get your hands on it make sure you click that link down in the description but it is a case of having to pinch yourself being able to see and hold this coin because uh for many, uh, this, this coin makes the Q Garden 50p pale in comparison. Um, and to see it still carded in wonderful condition is always a real joy. Got a handful of other brilliant and circulated coins here in this one. Oh, we've got the Charles and Diana wedding crown there, 1981. I think the uh, plastic case on the coin has gone a little bit of a funny color, but uh, it should be a Cooper nickel coin, but still. Nice coin. Speaking of nice coins, we've got a scarce coin out in circulation, and to be fair, a scarce coin to find in brilliant uncirculated quality too. It is the Mary Rose two pound coin. Uh, it's not often we get to see this one in brilliant uncirculated condition. It's interesting to see an older Royal Mint bunk coin pack, obviously, and many of us are familiar with the current packs. They're sort of homogenous, sort of similar designs, uh, or previously they would come in sort of a square sort of bunk presentation pack, but this one is quite different, but um, very cool coin to see. And then in similar packaging, we have 2011's WWF 50p. Again, very scarce coin to find out in circulation. It can be quite tricksy and lots of people's favorite designs. There's so much going on, it's, it's a really lovely one. We've got some, we've got a very cute panda to the bottom. So if the coin isn't good enough to make you want to buy this, this cute little panda should be. Then we've got the golden wedding anniversary crown. If we open it up, we can see the coin here. It has the shield of arms for both the queen and her husband, Prince Philip, which is very neat. And then again, on the obverse, another dual portrait of the happy couple. 
Then we've got another 2012 £5 coin for the opening of the Olympic Games. There was a Paralympic version of this coin as well, which is a really nice design. We've got some more coin hunting to do. We've got a bag of £5 coins here. It's not often that I've had a chance to do a £5 coin hunt. We start with a very nice one, uh, the King Henry VIII coin. Uh, that's in the 2009 annual set with, alongside the Kew Gardens. The Kew Gardens tends to steal the show, but that's still a lovely £5 coin. That is the Queen Mother's Memorial £5 coin. Uh, Battle of Trafalgar, really nice design on this coin. We've got Queen's Birthday Crown, or £5 coin I should say. Battle of Trafalgar again. Princess Diana Memorial. Uh, Queen Elizabeth I. So this is a coin that has both our Queen Elizabeths either side. So, lovely design. There's that coronation crown again, the one that I really like the design of. We've got a very early Queen's Birthday uh, five pound coin. Well, I say early. <laughs> early in the range of five pound coins. It wasn't until the 90s that they actually changed the denomination from a 25p crown to a five pound crown. Battle of Trafalgar again. Another wedding anniversary. So that's the golden wedding anniversary, which we've just seen in Brilliant Uncirculated. Ooh, that's a bit gross, isn't it? That's the Queen Mother's 100th birthday five pound coin. We've got Queen Victoria five pound coin. Queen Elizabeth I, again, that's quite nice to find two of those because they are hard to get your hands on. That's the Millennium five pound coin. The Queen Mother's 100th birthday again. Where do we have that? Oh, there's another dirty Queen Mother's 100th birthday. Queen Mother's Memorial. And then we have Lord Nelson, which was a, a coin that went alongside the Battle of Trafalgar. Got a few more loose ones here. So then we've got uh, Prince Charles, well then Prince Charles's 50th birthday, celebrating his work with the Prince's Trust. Um, I think this is a Jubilee, oh yeah, 2002, so yeah. We've got Jubilee five pound coin there. Another wedding anniversary, again, golden wedding anniversary. And we have the Entente, so there was an English and a French coin released as sort of counterparts. It's a lovely idea. Princess Diana Memorial again. And the last loose one we've got, the Prince Charles 50th birthday crown. We're not quite done though, so we've got a couple in little packets and pockets. We've got, uh, again, Queen Victoria. We've got the Queen Mother's birthday, this is her 90th birthday millennium again. Oh, there's another loose one I missed. Prince Charles's birthday, another golden wedding anniversary. Charles's birthday again. Ah, then we have a coronation crown again. So a different year, if we can get it out, we can see it's got a different design to the obverse there. But lovely coin. Queen's birthday again, another one of these coronation five pound coins. Another one for the Queen's birthday. Queen mother's hundredth birthday. And again, Queen's birthday here. This is in lovely condition, isn't it? Stunning. That's the Queen Mother's Memorial five pound coin and then the Queen Mother's 100th birthday. There is also a great big sheet of these five pound coins. We'll see if there's anything we've missed. No, I think these are all ones that we have seen throughout this little handful of coins. So getting to do a five pound coin hunt, that was rather fun. We've got another handful of brilliant uncirculated coins. This one looks like it's a medallion. The Euro Tunnel, celebrating in 1994. Hmm, let's have a look then. Ah, there's no coin in it. <laughs> well, metal, I should say. That's a shame. I was quite interested to see what that was going to look like. We know this one's going to contain a rare coin. So it's the 1992-1993 European Presidency Brilliant Uncirculated Coin. So a uh, very sought after, lovely coin to have in your collection. Uh, and if that's not enough, you get an extra coin too, a Britannia as well. And then we've got one of the older single metal two pound coins. I don't think we saw one of these uh, whilst we were hunting through that load of two pound coins. It's the European Championships. It's a lovely Supan coin designed to look like a football. I think it's a really striking coin. We've got the Centenary of the First World War. I'm not quite sure what this is going to be. Uh, oh, it's at the going down of the sun. And they've got the World War poem. Oh, it's a five pound coin. It says that on the bottom. Where's it minted for then? Oh, Guernsey, I see. So traveling to one of the territories or crown dependencies. There's another five pound coin marking the passing of Queen Elizabeth II. 
And then I mentioned this set a little bit earlier, the countdown to the Olympic Games. So this is 2011's one year to go. So each design has the number hidden inside the design. Uh, these are obviously UK five pound coins but uh, very cool and clever designs on these. We have one last bag to have a look through. So this looks like it's crowns from all the sort of territories, crown dependencies, so let's have a route through these. So we start off with Gibraltar, 1968, one crown. Lovely little plastic box for that to be kept in. Uh, so this is Silver Jubilee. Oh, I see, so it, um, it looks like a medal rather than a coin, but we've got the queen wearing a different crown than she usually wears on coins, so that's quite neat, unique. Uh, we've got New Zealand, oh, getting quite far away then. 1983, $1, the royal visit, that's uh, Charles and uh, Princess Diana, 1983. Moscow, 1980, this might be a medal, yeah. So, uh, Olympic Games, so yeah, there's Olympics on it, so again, probably what that is. We've got another one dollar here. Okay, and it's New Zealand, 1980. Very cool little coin. We've got Docklands Light Railway. Uh, solid bronze medal, looks like. Ah, that's pretty neat design, isn't it? This is the Silver Wedding Anniversary, 25 pence crown. This is the Isle of Man, 1972. Very cool. And we're heading over to Gibraltar with this cute little monkey on it. It says 25 new pence from 1971. Uh, again, Gibraltar, 1972. The silver wedding anniversary, 25 new pence. Then we've got uh, His Royal Highness, the Prince of Wales, Lady Diana Spencer. Oh, so this will be a wedding. Oh, it's a medal rather than a coin. There we go. Back to the rock, 1967s. Again, similar design that we've looked at previously. I think this is almost like a definitive design on these coins. And then the last one that's in one of these little boxes, Silver Jubilee, 1977. Oh, it's a, again, a medal rather than a coin. We've got a couple in some little packets. So this is the birthday of Queen Elizabeth II, one crown. Uh, it's from Gibraltar, 1977. We've got an Isle of Man five pound coin. Feels a little bit smaller. Got a Jersey five shilling, 1966. Ah, hang about, Euro Tunnel. <laughs> this must be the token that fell out of the um, little packet we had earlier. So going from Folkestone all the way to Calais. Well, that's a neat coin, is it? Well, it's not quite a medal, I should say. We've got another handful of, oh, this isn't a, a crown, this is a dollar. <laughs> 1972, uh, another Gibraltarian, one crown, 1968. This one's 1967, but the same design. 1970, so a date run there. We've got another Silver Jubilee, these were medals, weren't they? Yeah, so not uh, issued by a country as currency. Um, History of the Royal Air Force, five pound coin, from Guernsey, 2008. Hmm, we've not seen one of those yet. 1971, there's another one from Gibraltar, but this cute little, I think they're Barbary apes, aren't they, if memory serves. Uh, this is going to be Silver Jubilee, we can see 1977 there. So it's a Jersey 25 pence. Oh, it's in a little bit of plastic, a plastic case, so somewhat protected from the elements. Another Jer uh, Jersey, Gibraltarian crown. What's this one, 1968. Another one from Jersey for the Silver Jubilee. Uh, this one's from Guernsey for the Silver Jubilee. Uh, we've got William and Catherine's engagement. Mm. 2010 from Alderney, five pound coin. That's lovely, isn't it? So there's the UK five pound coin that marks their wedding. Uh, Jersey, again, Silver Jubilee. There's another one of these older five shillings from Jersey. We haven't had that loose, but we, I think we had it in a packet, didn't we? Uh, Royal Wedding, 1981, Charles and Diana. Uh, so it looks, look, again, looks like a medal. Can't see any denomination or issue in country. Silver Jubilee, one crown. I think this is the Isle of Man, given we've got the little Triskelion to the middle. It certainly is. And the last one here is a 1969 Gibraltarian crown. There's a few which are in capsules as well. 
We've got 100 years of naval aviation, five pound coin from Guernsey, 2009. Lovely. Benedetto Pistrucci's George and the Dragon. Oh, that's not what I was expecting on the other side of this coin. Diana, Princess of Wales. Mm. I'm not sure what that's, a medal issued by somewhere. I don't know if that's a coin that's got a decal stuck on it, but uh, kind of interesting. That's quite pretty, isn't it? Supersonic Concorde, five pounds with a bit of color on it as well, which is lovely. 2009 from Guernsey. Nice. And then we've got more color on these planes. Uh, Battle of Britain with the lovely Spitfire on it, five pound coin. Again, Guernsey, 2010. Wow, that was a fun little hunt through those, wasn't it? And then we've got one last handful of brilliant uncirculated coins to work through. Uh, we've got the Queen Mother's 90th birthday. I think we saw that in the five pound coin hunt that we did a moment ago. We've got the National Trust Centenary. Oh, look at that, it's a beautiful color, isn't it? It's obviously like coppery bronze. Wow, that's a really lovely design, that, isn't it? So again, that's a medal rather than a coin though, isn't it? Yes, centenary medallion, lovely. Here's another older, brilliant uncirculated two pound coin. This one is the King James Bible. Again, a really sought after coin if you manage to find one of those out in your change. Lovely to see it in this packaging. You've got the Isle of Man, five pound coin, the world's first decimal circulating five pound coin. Yes, I have been told that uh, these five pound coins are out in circulation over there. We've then got the Peace Dove, which we've seen already, but so uh, there it is, brilliant uncirculated, so it'd be struck to a higher standard for this uh, coin. Okay, so we've got some football stuff here, so a bit out of my wheelhouse, but uh, the, the circulation coin set England with the official license medal for the 2010 FIFA World Cup. Oh, I see, that's quite a neat little package then, isn't it? So we've got the circulating definitives from 2010. It was 2010, wasn't it? Oh, that's a bit bizarre, so we've got the coins are from 2008, but the medal is 2010. I was about to say, because the 2010 50 pence didn't go into circulation, making that a rather valuable NIFC coin. And then the last coin from this collection, we have got the Diamond Jubilee five pound coin, which has got a lovely portrait of the queen. Uh, to this side of the coin, I believe this is by Ian Rank Broadley, if memory serves, might be wrong on that though. Uh, but then the other side, we've got uh, the queen's first portrait by Mary Gillock, lovely coin to end off on today's video. So then, I'd be fascinated to know what's your favorite coin that we've looked at today. I think I know what most of you are gonna say with that um, Olympic Aquatics lines over the face coin. But uh, other than that one then, what would you pick as your favorite thing? It's been really fun to have a bit of a coin hunt through some of the denominations I don't normally get to get my hands on, but uh, that was quite exciting too. As I said, there will be links down in the description of this video to our website for the coins that are already listed on there. But as I said, do get in touch with us if you'd like to purchase something that's not already available to you. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. It's free to do and it means you won't miss out on any of our future uploads. We are also on Facebook and Instagram where you can follow us and see lots of pictures of our lovely coins. We're on Twitter and TikTok. We've got our shop on online store, but I'll see you next time for more amazing coins from the Britannia Coin Company.